Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So in this video we will understand how to create platform event trigger flow in Salesforce. So in this video first I will explain what is platform event trigger flow in Salesforce. After that we will see an use case and using that use case I will explain how we can create platform event trigger flow to automate the process in Salesforce. So let's understand what is platform event trigger flow in Salesforce. So first if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button press the bell icon so whenever we post any new video you will get an update. So the platform event trigger flow takes the follow up from the event that happened in the org and the based on that it performs further operations like creating tasks sending an email or any notification. After that when any platform event occurs the flow executes automatically handles the event and perform necessary actions without manual operation. Now let's understand the use case where we will be using platform event trigger flow. Let's see the use case. Whenever any message is received from the apex to the platform event, we need to share that message. We need to share that message post to chatter in Salesforce. And this should be happened automatically. So how we can automate this process? We can create platform event trigger flow. Then we need to add a platform event in the flow. And after that, whenever any message received in the Salesforce, the platform event trigger flow will get executed and that message it will share to the post to chatter automatically. So in previous example we have seen the platform event is nothing but the custom object for that we created the custom object. Now in this example we will see how we can create object using the platform event. So for that without any delay let's jump to the salesforce org. Let me navigate back. In the quick find box search for the platform event here you can see under the integration we have platform events click on it now currently i didn't created any platform events so for that here you can see here we have new platform button click on it so in the label here i am providing notification this will be the label for the platform event that we are going to create so pure, enter the plural label notifications so this is going to be same as we create the custom object then deployment status deployed and then click on save now here you can see we created the notification as a platform event then scroll down here you can see here we have some standard fields now we are going to create custom fields for the storing message and then source so here i am clicking on new button for the source here i am selecting text then click on next provide the label here i am providing source provide the length and then click on save again click on new to create the message field for that select text area long click on next provide the label message field name will be automatically populate and then click on save now here you can see under the custom fields here we created message and source custom fields and these fields for the notification platform event object now in this way we can create the platform event and the custom fields in the platform event object. So the name of platform event is notification and then the custom fields that we created one is for the source and another one is for the message. Now to post any message to the chatter group first we need to create any new chatter group for that click on the app launcher search for the chatter here you can see under the items we have chatter open it. And now to create new chatter group here you can see here we have plus icon click on it provide the name so for the new group here I am providing so for this group here I am providing platform event notification group then here you can provide the description here you can see here you need to select owner 
so currently i am using so currently i am the system administrator so here so here i am the owner of this group then here you can see access type as you click on it here you will see two options public and then private so this means if you want to make this group as a public then you can select public and if you want to make this group as a private that means the user that you add in this group only for those users this group will be get accessed so here i am selecting public and then click on save and next now here you can select the photo or icon it's like a profile photo as you click on this upload image you can select the image from your system and then click on next and now here you can manage the members so here i am going to add so here i added so here i have added these members and then click on done now here you can see platform event notification group has been successfully created now when we create the platform event trigger flow and to post the message in this group we need this group id for that here you can see in the url tab here i am copying the group id and then here i am pasting on the notepad now as i scroll down here you can see in the chatter post we don't have any post in the platform event notification group so let me close this now let's create the platform event trigger flow to automatically post the message whenever we got from the apex whenever we get from the apex to the post to chatter now for that here i am clicking on new flow button select the start from scratch click on next here we need to select platform event trigger flow launches when the platform event message is received then click on create now the previous flow we was created for the when the error message is received after that to display the error message we created that flow and in that flow in the platform event we have selected flow execution error event but now we have created our own event which is notification so as i search for notification here you can see notification underscore underscore e so basically e is the representation of event so here i am selecting this one and then simply close this now when the message received to the event we need to post that message automatically to the chatter group so here i am clicking on add element then select the action element after that search for the post to chatter action here you can see post to chatter select it provide the label here i am providing post to chatter you can provide label as per your requirement a pane will be automatically populate scroll down and here you can see now set input values for the selected action now in the message field we need to provide source and message from the notification event object so for that as you click on this here you can see scroll down triggering notification event as you click on it here we have message so here i am selecting this one so cut this or copy this so here i have cut this and again triggering notification and again select the source now paste the copied message that means now here we have provided two values first one is a source and another one is the message and then in the target name or id here we need to provide the id of group that we created now here i am copying the group id and paste over target name or id here also we can provide the target name or we also can create the label for the group name and then simply close this now we need to save this platform event trigger flow for that click on save provide the label so here i am providing post to chatter using platform event trigger flow a pane will be automatically populate and then click on save the flow successfully gets saved now how to execute this flow we can execute this flow 
when the platform event happen in the Salesforce. So how we can do that? For that, first we need to activate this flow. The flow successfully get activated. Now we need to navigate to the developer console where we can create the Apex code. So for that, here I am clicking on gear icon, then click on developer console. Now here I am opening the anonymous window for that here you can see here we have debug option click on it and then open execute anonymous window. So here I am closing this because we don't need this code. So in the anonymous window let me remove this. Now we need the API name of the platform event that we created for that here I am opening the salesforce org. Again in the quick find box, search for the platform events. So here we created the notification as a platform event which is custom event. Here I am opening this one and here you can see here we have API name. Here I am copying the API name, again open the developer console. So here I am pasting the API name over here and then nt equal to again new notification event and then make it constructor. Now what we did here, we created the instance of notification event. So enter. Now we need to provide source and message for the platform event which is notification event. For that nt dot and then api name for the custom fields that we created for that again we need to navigate platform event scroll down here you can see api name for the source here i am copying this paste over here again enter copy the api name of message and again nt dot message underscore underscore c equal to so here for the source here i am providing platform event trigger flow semicolon and then for the message this message is generated from notification event and again semicolon. Now to receive this message to the platform event, so here we have one class which is event bus then enter dot and then if your connectivity is good or you have some configuration then you will see all the methods which have in the event bus class. So here I am adding publish open and curly braces and then semicolon. And now we need to publish the event that we created. So here we have nt as an event which is the instance of notification class and then paste over here. And that's it. Now before executing this class, so first in the Salesforce chatter group, so here I am opening the chatter. Now open the group that we created for that click on recent groups and here you can see platform event notification group. Here I am opening this group, scroll down and here we don't have any notification or post. Again navigate to developer console. And now here I am executing this Apex code. So for that click on execute. The flow successfully get executed. Again navigate to the Salesforce chatter. And now here I am refreshing this page which is the platform event notification group. And scroll down and here you can see platform event trigger flow and this message is generated from the notification event. And in that the platform event trigger flow 
is the source and this message is generated for from notification event is the message so in this way any message is received to the platform event from the any other application or the salesforce the platform event trigger flow executed and whatever the operation we want to perform we can do using the platform event trigger flow if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever we post any new video you will get an update thank you